Hey guys, just forgot to put this on camera, so I'm putting it in the beginning of the video. Forgot to mention I'm going to VidCon with a couple of YouTube boys. We'll be there every day of the convention. Now, uh, here's the video. Excuse me, uh, I don't want to bother you or anything, but can I get your number? Wow, okay, um, I guess I'll just grab my bag of treats and get out of here. Oh, now that I have treats, now that I have treats, you want to go on a date? Let me tell you something, you are a fucking gold digger, okay? You're only in for the treats. I just asked you a second ago, before you knew I had them, and you said no. Wow. Can you believe that? Can you believe what you just saw? The last time we spoke, I made a huge deal about how I was leaving the old set behind. We were gonna have a new set. So this new temporary place before Gus and I are in LA next month looks pretty much identical to the last set. It looks like I just moved some furniture around. I could have just said nothing. And the reflections are worse than before. Also, I don't want to hear any of the, like, that's animal cruelty, you didn't give her the treat and you yelled at her. Yes, I gave her the treat. Are you kidding me? You, who do you think I am? So that intro joke with Kona, who's an angel and will never do anything wrong except she accidentally bit my mom and made her bleed. But it was, she was trying to play, you know? She meant well. <laughs> so that intro joke and the title might give you an idea what this video is about. This is my Let's Examine series uh, where I take a YouTuber who might be doing something wrong and I just look at their content. We give them a fair, fair chance. I always go in with no bias at all, not planning to make a comedy video out of it in any way. I like to do this series because you get to just watch the content and not do research on the person because I can't spend hours looking into Jake Paul's life. It would kill me. I can't, I can't do that. So this Let's Examine is on Human TV. He's a prankster that I talked about in a video uh, about a month ago. Basically, Human TV is thriving still off of gold digger pranks. Let me read out some of the views that these videos are getting. There's one from five hours ago has 200,000 views. The last one has 10 million that I reacted to. The one before that, 6.9 million, 10 million. 13 million, 11 million. This is like one of the most popular series on YouTube right now. And I have absolutely no idea why they're so popular. I don't get why so many young guys would click on this video. It's just, I don't know. So last time I reacted to Gold Digger Prank Part 7, and we're gonna watch some videos of his that aren't the Gold Digger pranks, but let's start out with the one from five hours ago, Gold Digger Prank Part 8. Hey, excuse me? Hey, um, do you live around here? Um, I'm so sorry to bother you. No, it's okay, yeah, around here. Okay, I just moved here a couple of days ago and I have like no idea where I am. Yeah. Uh, I just parked my car right here. Do you know a good restaurant around here to get some? Yeah, don't get hit. He's sitting against the nice car. So this might be a whole new form of content here. He's gonna reverse gold dig that girl. He's gonna take her to the bad car and she's gonna be like, what the fuck is this? Uh, you, that was a nice car, and you're a, you're a piece of shit for tricking me. Get lost, loser. You know how all women are. The thing about a reverse gold digging prank is before it was like, hey, you didn't find me attractive enough when I was a random guy approaching you on the street, but now that I'm getting into a nice car, your woman brain can't handle not going on a date with me. That's how these are set up. But the reverse one is just deceiving somebody. You seem like a liar. I know, again, this is an actress, but if it was a real girl who was talking to you and thought your car was cool because you were sitting on it and you were like, hey, let's go, let's hop on my bike and leave, she'd be like, oh, this guy's a fucking liar. I'm not going to go out with him. So whatever her reaction is, is justified even though she's an actress. Because I was going to ask you for a restaurant recommendation, but if, you, if you're free, let's uh, go get some quick food. That way, if the food sucks, I'll just blame you on, on the spot, you know? 
No, you can't book me though. <laughs> I mean, you're sure Come on, if, savage. Why does it say savage? Because I'm, I'm a savage. I make like last minute plans. I'll just make friends with people, like random people, and then we'll have a great time, so. No, that's not what a savage is. A savage is somebody who does something fucked up or crazy without caring. Oh, I'm a total savage, dude. If I'm dating a girl and I go to her parents' house, they just like me instantly and we have a great time. I'm just really good with family and also kids and dogs. I'm a fucking savage, dude. It's fucking crazy. I'm a savage and savage as hell. If you're free, let's go for a good time, hang out, get some dinner, and then go back to my place, watch a movie or something. You don't know. Yo, taking a girl out to dinner? In a movie? This dude's a fucking savage. I wasn't sure before because he was wearing a shirt that said savage and I was like, well, maybe, maybe he's a savage. But now that he asked her to a dinner or a movie, this dude is fucking nuts. I'm a friendly guy, I got a cool car. Are you? Yeah, I just, I just, right? I mean, I'm like 20% creep, but I'm like the fun, the fun, You're interesting creep. You are so much more than 20% creep, dude. Every video I've watched of yours, you've hired an actress to be in a bikini so you can pick them up and leave with them. That's like 99% creep. You're not all the way there, but that's like pretty fucking close. No, I mean, there's like 1% chance, but most likely not, yeah. Okay. If you're kidnapped, they'll be in a nice car, so. It is. It you is down? If I label a guy as 99% creepy, I'm saving the 1% for the possibility that he kidnaps a, a woman. I'm like 20% creepy. There's a one, one out of a hundred girls that I meet, I kidnap, but I'm only 20% creepy. <laughs> There's no chance she could be anyone other than an actress. You cannot say to a girl you're trying to pick up, you might get kidnapped and if it, at least if you do, you'll be in the trunk of a nice car. Oh, wow, a real gentleman. Let's get in, let's go. Okay. Oh, no, not that one. I meant this one. I was just sitting on that car because it was closer to the street. He sat on a car that wasn't his, asked her out, said he makes friends really easily and that he has a, he's a cool, friendly guy with a cool car, then says that he's 20% creepy and there's a 1% chance that she will be kidnapped. So when they're walking to get in the nice car, he switches to a fiat. Backing out is totally justified. That is not a gold digger thing at all. Run! He's gonna kill you. Who man's gonna murder you? Sorry. Um, you know what? What's up? Let's um, go. Actually, I totally forgot that like I left something boiling up in my house. I'm sorry, what the fuck did you just say? Did you just say that you left something boiling up in your house? You started boiling something? and you went for a run? Who man, why would you write that? So off. I'm, I'm kind of in a relationship-ish. Wait, how are you kind of in a relationship? Uh, How's that? Situationship, that's what they call it. Situationship? Anyway, what? Wait, 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 wait. That actually is my car, come back. I was just joking. This is a rental, that is really my car. Check this out. I have a really special gift for you. I totally forgot about it. If you just wait here for five minutes, I'll go get it really quick, okay? Wait, where are you going? Just hang out here, I'm gonna get you a gift. I know I just met you, you're like super like surprised and shocked, but I'll, I got a gift for you, it'll it'll fit you really well. Hey, just hang out here, sit on the car right here, okay. and I'll be back, okay? okay? Five minutes. Murder. Murder is the gift. Run. Hello. Sorry, that took a little bit longer than I thought, but here we are. So here's this. Here, wear this real quick. What is this? Here, hurry, just wear this, wear this, wear this, wear this. Why? Just trust me, wear it, it's fun. And this will fit you like perfect. This is literally made for you, so. Can anybody on earth, no matter what their age, believe that this is real? Trust me, trust me, trust me. Don't run, I just came in randomly with a fucking bulldozer and just dumped dirt on here, put a shovel in, put cones around and was like, wear this, it's fun, it's fun. It's gonna be, tr trust me, it's gonna be fun. No human being would stick around for this. All right, wear these for safety, so you don't get hurt. Wait, I'm we so don't, confused. We don't want those pretty hands getting hurt. There you go, put this on too. Put on this safety helmet. Boom, it's all gold too. Okay. Everything's gold, looks good. Just uh, come over here. 
he's trying to pass this as real. So if it were real, he had a nice conversation with a girl while kind of being a little cool, sitting on a car. They had some fun banter. And then he said he could kidnap her, lied to her, lied to her again, left for five minutes, came back with a bulldozer. Like, if it were real, it's not gold digging. This video has 28,000 likes and 715 dislikes. Logical YouTube is there for the for the Paul brothers. When they do something fucked up, there's a good amount of dislikes, but this dude doesn't even have a thousand dislikes. Dig, cause I mean, you know, you're a gold digger and there's gold in there for you, so just dig for some gold. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, you see that camera right there? You're on a camera show. We're exposing oh gold diggers. God. You what saw you this? saw a nice car are you and then uh, you want to hang out. You saw an old Fiat. You think now it's you're engaged. Be videos like Don't that? hit me with that because if you, I'm expensive. You, oh, you hit me, my lawyer is going to call you. I do want a video. Hey. Oh my God. This. Are you freaking serious? You really want to buy area? I'm going to. Oh my God. This. Yo, can, can, can you. Are you kidding me? If you called somebody a gold digger in the scene of dating, they might say fuck you or leave. They wouldn't stay there, grab a shovel, and start busting a car up for no fucking reason. When younger people are watching this, they're not old enough to be that critical about these things. So they take that as like, oh, women are fucking awful. So I'm gonna take that into the rest of my life. I should never trust a woman in my life because they're all in it for the money. Are you guys gonna stand there and watch or are you gonna come help me, yo? What the, what just happened? Did you get her face? Do I call the cops or what? Bro, I'm shaking. I don't, I don't know what to do. I've never had this happen before. I've, I've filmed like nine gold digger pranks. Shut the fuck up, dude. My attitude wasn't as much of fuck you until you just like pretended she actually committed a crime. Oh my God, dude, I'm shaking. I've, I've filmed like nine of these and every woman I've ever talked to has fallen for this. But this one went crazy. Fuck you. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed watching this prank. I've exposed so many other gold diggers in the past. If you want to see those videos, click right over here to watch them. Subscribe to my channel for future gold digger pranks. He will stand there and say, this is what I do. I expose gold diggers. He treats it as if it's very real. You can tell by the way he talks about it at the end. But all of these women are actresses. And this is not how women fucking act. He also has this series where he surprises people using Uber with a nice car. For this video, I'm going to be a Uber driver. My passengers think I'll be picking them up in a really old, ugly and beat up Toyota Prius, but when I get there, I'll be surprising them with a brand new Lamborghini Huracan. And let me tell you, this baby is fast. Dude, that's a regular Prius. He's like this fucking ratty old beat up Prius. They think they're gonna die on the drive because it's so bad. Dude, it's a regular car. All right, guys, we are here in a neighborhood to pick up our next passenger. Good description, dude. All right, guys, we are here in a neighborhood. What are the chances, who man, that the first person you pick up is a young blonde girl in a bikini? I'm so surprised because usually when you film your videos, there aren't young, attractive women in bikinis. Hey, Terrio, what's up, buddy? Did you order Uber? Get in, my man. What up, what up, what up? I never thought I was gonna be. You good? All right, man. Yeah, I had a black Prius this morning, but oh, you won't hit. Yeah. But... You're telling me that you used the Uber app, you deceived them with the wrong license plate, with the wrong car. You're now picking people up, and it was an actress? And Terrio from Vine. All right, where, where are we going? Yeah. I'm good, man. Actually, you know what? Can I get a bite of that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a bite. Like a, okay. Huh. There you go. Yeah, I'll take a bite while there's still a free side of the piece of chicken and he just bites it and he's like, oh, you, oh, wh where am I supposed to bite now? You just fucking put your mouth all over it. Uh, oh, the top. Okay, I'll take a bite out of the top. His pranks are the fakest ones I think I might have ever seen on YouTube. If we keep allowing this dude to get popular without any pushback, more and more kids are just going to see all the likes and be like, oh, well, this is real. The comments are full of people that like him and the likes are good, so... This has got to be real. Nobody's unhappy with it. Thank you, Helen, Business Vulture, Bernard, Nami, Damien, Gabriel, Carrie, Megan, Amber, Warren, Aurora, Kimberly, Zebra Corner, Errol, Kaylin, Two Trains, Dominic, Alyssa, Noah, Reese, Emily, Jake, Amanda, Ashley, 
Dave and Janet Smith. Thank you guys. 